This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 lava dragons for a visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. This episode of On Drop Rate is wild. We are going to be taking on a massive challenge, maybe even the biggest one of every single episode so far. We are going to be killing up to 12,000 long-tailed wyverns in the hopes of seeing the wyvern visage. As I'm going to be mailing these creatures, I have invested in the Dragon Hunter Lance and the Ancient Wyvern Shield. The Dragon Hunter Lance, for obvious reasons, they are dragons, so they actually take more damage from the Dragon Hunter Lance than any other weapon in the game. And secondly, the Ancient Wyvern Shield is a really useful weapon here, because these wyverns actually freeze you like a frost barrage by a PK or in the wilderness, meanwhile you're doing your clue scroll. When you do get frozen and you're using melee, you can't do anything, you just have to wait for like 4 seconds before you can attack again, and that is a massive time sink, but if you have this shield, you will never get frozen. When it comes to inventory, this is what I'm going to start off using, I have no idea honestly if this is good at all, so I might have to change it. Also I do have high alk with me in the room pouch, and I do have a dig site pendant, this is for banking. I will teleport to the dig site, run a bit, and land right here at the shore, run to the bank, and run straight up to this cave again. But I guess, let the grind begin, this is the first one, they have 200 HP, and the Dragon Hunter Lance is doing pretty good damage, I think I've done like 7 hits so far, so they are not that slow to kill, and the first one is 3000 coins and Wyvern Bones. Also I do want to mention, I have seen a lot of comments of people saying I should bring a Bone Crusher to these videos, if I'm not going to be picking up the bones anyways, and sad to say, I do not own a Bone Crusher. I am terrible at doing diaries, and that is just one of them that I have not done. Another nice bonus to this grind is going to be to get these unidentified fossils, because I have done all the cleaning of these on my group Iron Man, but I've never done it on my main, and you can actually clean all of these fossils, the different sizes, a large fossil, a small fossil, and complete a bunch of different things in the museum, and you actually get experience lamps for those, which is a decent amount of experience, you probably get like 100,000 experience in a chosen skill if you complete all of them. And I'm going to be killing 12,000 of these, so me getting all the ones I need is likely. So we just finished the first trip, and I did actually time this. The trip took me 29 minutes and 28 seconds, so pretty much almost exactly half an hour. And we did kill just about 60 wyverns in this time, meaning that I get 120 kills an hour with this setup. Which means that math is very easy for this video. 120 an hour means 100 hours to get 12,000 kills. And there it is, the first hard clue scroll of the grind. Let's go ahead and do it. And we're going to be stacking up all the caskets, of course, in the bank to open at the end of this grind. Oh, there we have the first granite longsword. It is worth basically nothing, and I already have it on the collection log. It's not that rare, I'm going to be getting probably a good amount of them, they're 1 in 512. You know, I don't think I fully let it sink in how long of a grind this was actually going to be. I've killed 352 long-tailed wyverns and I've got 4 hard clue scrolls. I think it's 1 in 128 to get hard clue scrolls from these, so I will on rate, if I do not get the visage, do like 100 hard clue scrolls. And a lot of them is in the wilderness, I have to re-gear every single time. So that is definitely some extra time on the grind. Probably like 30, 20 hours, something like that. Oh, a second granite longsword. I'm probably not going to show all of these. I'm probably not going to show any of them after this one, honestly. This kill right here is actually a pretty monumental kill of the grind. This is going to be the 1,000th long-tailed wyvern of the grind, so we're done with 1 12th of the grind after this one. And as you guys saw before that I put on the screen, the hard clue scroll rate is not 1 in 128. I don't know why I thought that. It's 1 in 118. So we're going to be getting even more hard clue scrolls than I thought during this grind, but uh, that's going to be a nice opening at the end, hopefully. After this wyvern, we're going to be hitting the 2000 kill mark, so we're going through these very quickly, of course for you guys, but for me it's been like 8 hours, even more than that probably. So yeah, it's pretty slow for sure, and after this one, I'm probably not going to update you every 1000 KC, might be longer, or my maybe next clip is going to be me getting the visage, who actually knows. Oh, 
we got the granite boots, which actually has a pretty good value, like 1 million GP, and that beam looks so good on the ground. Also, a collection log item, that is actually a 1 in 2,560 drop rate. Oh, wow, oh my god, that was actually really close into the last one. I think that was like 150-200 kills between the last granite boots. I mean, that's, as I said, it has pretty good value, so I'm not complaining at all. Dude, at the end of this grind, it is going to be so fun, regardless if I get the wipe envisage or not, to open all of these hard clue scrolls. Just look at this. 27 hard clue scrolls so far, and this is the kills I've done so far, so I still have a lot of kills to potentially go. Okay, out of all the different steps on hard clue scrolls, this is the one I can actually not do. It is from a new quest, the land of the goblins. If we go down here, there it is. I have not completed this, and I also need to complete another slice of ham, and I think maybe another quest. So just this one step, if I get it, I am just going to drop it. I have so many clues I'm going to do anyways. Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh my god, that looks so good! The Golden Beam, 23 million GP. I'm even attacking the wrong Wyvern now. Oh my god, 4.6 thousand KC. Like, what, 35, 40 hours into the grind? Yeah, like 40 hours. Oh my god. We actually got the Wyvern Visage. That is insane. Let's head over to the collection log, go to the Slayer tab, and there it is. The Wyvern Visage has been unlocked. I have 53 out of 73 unlocks, I guess. Maybe I could be kind of close to the Slayer tab completion. I guess the Imbued Heart is a massive grind. And if we go down... Okay, there's there's a good amount of things that I still have to do, like the Dusk and the uh, Dagon High Gear, but uh, that definitely is a massive unlock. Now, before we open the 30 hard caskets that we have, this one looks so good in the bank, by the way. I'm going to be using up all the fossils and see how much agility experience I get. I really dislike training agility, so hopefully it's a good amount. Now, how this basically works is that you go here into the museum, you clean all the fossils, and you get these other pieces. You need five different ones to complete the display, and you, of course, you complete the small display, medium display, and large display. And they all give different tiers of XP lamps, so I'm going to be able to complete, probably honestly, most of the displays. So just like this, I now have a bunch of these small fossils in my bag. I add to this small fossil display, just press it a bunch of times, and eventually it is going to be completed. And I get an experience lamp, and the small ones is not that much experience, but still 2000, which is not that bad for agility experience. Oh my god. Look at this absolute unit. Imagine NPCs in the game looking like this. Imagine getting this as a slayer task. Mandibular Maximus. Why the long face? Sadly, I did not have enough fossils to complete all of the displays, but I would say I finished probably like 90% of them, so that is pretty good. And let's use the last experience lamp to get 105,000 agility experience. So definitely a nice bonus to the grind. But it's time to open the 30 hard clue scrolls that I got from this grind, which is probably the most hard clue scrolls that I've opened in one go in this series, so that is very nice. And for the hard clue scroll collection log, as you saw right there, actually, I do have a third edge item unlocked from the hard clue scrolls. And we have 265 overall openings, and I could probably get a decent amount of collection logs from this. So that is going to be very nice, but let's go ahead and open the first one. And I do also not have a master in the bank, so of course... Getting one of those would be very nice. If I do get one, by the way, I'm not going to stop and do it. So that is... Uh, is that two collection logs? That is two collection logs. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to stop and do it when I get... Oh! I, do, I get interrupted all the time because I actually get good items. What I was going to say is if I actually get a Master Clue Skull, I'm not going to stop and do it. I'm just going to do it at the end of the opening. That is a very nice red beam right there. I'm going to open them all pretty quickly. And then at the end of it, I'm going to pick everything up. And hopefully I don't lose my Robin Hood hat. That would be kind of unfortunate. But we have not seen any crazy item yet except for the Robin Hood hat. There we go. That is the Master Clue Scroll. And I'm going to do it at the end of this opening. And maybe we can complete it and get something insanely good from that one as well. And we are coming up to the last ones. I'm not sure how many collection of items we got, but uh, probably a decent amount. Let's see. I think we got three of them. Wait, I already had Robin Hood hat, so we only got two. And that is everything picked up from the ground, and I will put all the loot that I got from the 30 hard clue scrolls on the screen. 4.52 million GP, and of course the master 
Can I do the first step? Yeah, I probably can do this first step. Honestly, these master clues are a pretty big RNG fest for me if I can actually complete them or not. But we did manage to get it and let's actually go to the collection log and see how many we have actually opened, which is not many at all. We have overall opened 17 of them. So if I get any unique, it is very likely to be a new one. So let's get it open. And it is a lot of items, but absolutely no uniques. But with that said and done, that is it for this episode of On Drop Rate. We have the Wyvern Envisage, the spoils that we managed to get during this video. In 4,600 KC, I'm very happy with that, of course. If you did like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you want to be updated on the new episodes of the series. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Take care.